Hey, I'm Golden, and Blackmagic Design has just released the new beta version for DaVinci Resolve 18.5. So, while there are many videos on YouTube about the major features, including automatic subtitle link that many people have been waiting for a long time, I'm going to cover the color grading and color page features. So, for us, DCTL users, the biggest update, I think, is the ability to include DCTLs in LUTs. So no longer do you have to use my weird and wacky workaround, but you can just right click on a clip and hit export LUT. Then studio users have a new open effects called Relight, which allows you to create virtual light sources, which in turn generates a mat, just like a qualifier or a depth mat, which you can use in grading. Then we have timeline level resolve color management. So you can change the color management settings for each timeline individually, or turn them off completely. We have an update to remote monitoring, so you no longer have to do port forwarding and share your IP, but instead you can hit start session, share the session ID with your client, and as long as they have the studio version of Resolve, they can open up the monitoring app and just view the stream. And we also finally have access to the Blackmagic Cloud Presentations app. So you can upload your video directly from Resolve into presentations, have your client review it, leave notes, and those notes will automatically sync up with your timeline. Moving on to some quality of life updates, after Daria made an hour-long video discussing Fusion color management, we now have an option called Disable Tone Mapping for Fusion Conversions, which should help a lot with Fusion color management. Then we have a swap button in the Color Space Transform OFX, so you can quickly swap the input and output color space choices. Corrector nodes now have a composite modes option, just like the layer mixer, but instead of mixing two inputs, it mixes the node output with its input. The color page now supports annotation markers, so you can draw in your markers. Now when missing a lot that a clip is supposed to have, instead of a generic error message, it'll show the specific LUT name at the bottom right of the viewer. And there's also a missing LUTs folder in LUT gallery. The Magic Mask now has matte finesse post filter controls, we got the ability to sort stills, LUTs and power grade albums in the gallery. We now have the ability to undo camera raw changes for each individual clip. Mini panel users now can enjoy color warper and Dolby Vision controls. Then when converting nodes into shared nodes, the node label will be retained. And finally, we have support for the Leica L log color management. Down below, there's a link to the forum post with the whole changelog. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this quick overview and see you next time.